Hello guys and girls, boom, welcome back. We did the first uh, part of the hunt, which was the £100. It was the mixed bag, remember, from the post office. I would have left that out just to remind us these two uh, videos link. And we have got open bags from the post office and we've got £200, same amount of bags. Um, just to remind you, if you would please make a comment below and um, on both videos would help. And um, I've got some questions for you, okay? Let me just have a slurp of tea. Mmm. Yummy. First of all, um, which is your favourite 50p and which would you like to win uh, in the 50p draw? So you can put that on the, if you can't think of anything to say, you can put that on the 50p video. And then in the £2 uh, video, write in there what you'd like to win if it was um, a two pound prize, okay, which two pound you'd like to win. If there's anything else particularly that you'd like to win, it doesn't matter what it is. If you can say whatever you like, yes, I don't mind, I'll happily accept um, huge amounts of money, but you won't win it. <laughs> I don't want you to be disappointed, but, you can, but tell me exactly what you'd like to win. You know, I haven't got a speedboat, um, so you won't be getting one of those. Um, you haven't got a Mr. and Mrs. push bike because we haven't got one of those. <laughs> First bag. I'm just drinking more of my tea. Sorry. Hmm. Lovely. All right, here we go. Now the novice with the two pounds. These are technologies, okay? And um, standing on the shoulders of giants is the inscription around the outside, or that's what it should say. Sorry, I'm not lined up properly. Is that better? Okay, so that's technologies. We want to make sure that they're not twisted. So as we've, um, now so you can see at the top, it says two pounds, so by the P, that's where we're aiming for. So anything else is going to be um, uh, a rotation error. So if I do that one with that one, and as we've only got um, a few to do, perhaps I'll do it with them all. Okay, uh, this is different. No, it's not. Okay, turn that round, P. That's better. Had it in the wrong place in the first place. Good condition, 2015, no doubt. Yeah. Loads of those were set um, out, you know, let loose in the wild altogether. Very recently, I think. There's so many of them together. Okay. If I get slim pickings from both of these bags, I'm not going to be ungrateful because... Um, I know that um, other uh, coin tubers out there may have been here before me and they've had a good luck bag and it's not my turn this time. But we like everybody to have a turn at the good luck. Okay, so we're going to line HRHQE2. Line her up at the top. There we are. Okay, now that's the P on the pound, so we turn that round. That's slightly out of kilter, and it looks like a different um, portrait, or is that my imagination? No, it's a different portrait, look. Okay, so homework for me, because, um, yeah, so let's turn them over. Those of you who are, um, oops, sorry. You see, I'm looking for the hologram in the middle. It looks all right to me. Yeah, so I'm going to put those two aside because so, I've got a comparison then. I shall have a look at those and see why, um, if it's because of the portrait that we've got, a change in portrait and they're lined up slightly different. And that's the sort of thing that you need to know all the time. You need to be keep your eyes peeled. There's another one, look. It's out of kilter. Is that the same portrait as that one? No, it's not. Okay. Righty ho. I'm not going to bore you. Oh, that's got that, some nasty scratches on there. Oh. There we are. Okay. Yes. I've yet to decide. I've got a few ideas for the prizes. And um, I've got a couple of more videos to do. And uh, one of them is another history lesson. So if you like a bit of uh, 
uh, non-series history, that's what mine is. I've got a link to coins and uh, and uh, give you a bit of history that links the two. I've got that in mine. And I've got another one that uh, I've got lined up for you. Okay. When you get to the um, when you do this, and the more you get the feel for the coins, the more you know there's something different, something's not quite right, it needs looking into. And uh, that goes from the weight of the coins, the look of the coins, and uh, how they're set, because uh, some of them are set out differently. Now, we haven't found anything apart from those uh, different portraits and what looks like um, a rotation error but I don't think it is somehow um, and they're open bags so uh, bank bags so we're assuming that we're not going to find much but as I say I'm not complaining it's a little lesson in uh, patience and getting familiar with the coins don't you just um, adore um, the Queen I think she's been fabulous, absolutely fabulous. She's been, um, she's, a, a, you know, a lifetime of service to us, and um, she's been fantastic. got that portrait again haven't we we've got the slimmer face the younger portrait and that's um i'll put that to one side again i'm going to check those out and that is the normal one and it's jody clark let, hang on let's just get the old spy glass oh okay the fairies have been where is it oh it's behind my tea let me just have a look and see if these are both jody clark that might give us a clue it might be irb uh, it is. Um, that's IRB, Ian Rank Broadly. And I'll just uh, show you there where it is. Just about there. Let's see if I can give it a minute to focus. Come on. I'm only using the mobile phone. Okay, Ian Rank Broadly. And when I pick this one up, which is a different portrait. Which, oh, this is Ian Rank Broadly, isn't it? That one's IRB. Oh, it's the same one. Where's that other one gone? Let's try that one. Okay. No initials on the front of this one. No. Oh, right, homework for me. And these are Ian Rank Broadly. And then, of course, the other um, portrait engraver is um, Jodie Clark. Sorry I'm taking so long. I just thought I'd. this is a grand opportunity to, um, to do this sort of thing. And then you know what I'm doing, what I'm looking for. And I've already had lots of lovely help and advice from other coin tubers. And I'm sure they'll be saying, oh, you know why that is 10 bob? And they'll be putting it in the notes for me, hopefully. That looks all right, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, how many more bags have got to go? Let's see. Let's see down. One, two, three, four, five. Got to make it last. <laughs> oh, more tea. Forgot about the cup of tea. Hmm. When we went out this morning, it was 16 degrees. We thought, oh, it's going to be nippy down by the beach. And um, so we put our fleeces on and trousers on rather than shorts or anything. And then when we went down there, it started to get warmer and warmer and warmer. It was absolutely beautiful. And we'd done what we had to do. We went down to the beach so we can have a look. And it was gorgeous down there. I should have done a 360 video for you. 
I've done one of the cabin. Oh, this is disappointing. Look, we've got nothing at all to show you. But never mind. Oh, I'm going to knock them all over now. Oh, this one's nearly open. I don't know if you know, but um, I've had two bags back to back of 50 peas, and they were all 2019 shields, and I checked every one of them. Oh, then. Hooray! <laughs> Shakespeare's tragedies, which, <laughs> which is what you could say about these two <laughs> coin hunts, couldn't you? <laughs> oh, dear. Sorry about that. I love this Shakespeare coin. I think it's very clever. Now, I know it's not a true uh, quote from a Shakespeare play, but um, it's alas, poor Yorick, I knew him well or something. But uh, that's not true, apparently. Not that I know my Shakespeare. Oh, nice. Oh, dear. Never mind. I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Well, it's Friday. And uh, Friday afternoons in our house are mad. Not because we are, because we're pretty uh, uh, shattered at the end of the week. But um, the traffic on a Friday afternoon is usually a bit manic. And you hear all sorts of shouting, swearing, tooting, all sorts. Now we've got the abolition of the slave trade, 1807. Some of these have got, um, they're engraved and they're raised a little bit at the back. But you can feel just by gently rubbing your nail across there. I can't feel it with my skin, but you can feel it with your nail. If it's smooth and got some, I think there's some little initials in there somewhere on the smooth one. It's come out of a set, but if it's the um, this one with the, you can feel the raised background, the textured background, then it's just a straightforward one. Very um, emotive subject. There we are. this sorry i've got the headphones on so i've got the microphone for you and it cuts out a bit of background noise a bit of traffic but it keeps getting tangled up yeah. i've got some posts today from um, westminster coins and uh, i ordered a mystery parcel and i got a mystery parcel but um I got a set of bunk Paddingtons and all the other ones I've got are straight out of the coin hunt so that was quite nice. Got a one pound coin, then I got a two pound, uh, old two pound coin. Uh, I haven't looked at the details yet of that. And what else did I get? Oh, I, got, I ordered two Peter Rabbits, uh, 2019 and 2020. Now, just because I wanted to make sure I've got the continuity of the Beatrix Potter story. Which is one of my faves. This is the last... Oh, no, we've got one more bag. Sorry, a bit hardy. It's one more. Not a huge success. But... Still enjoyable, nice to see you and um, have a chat. I say, don't forget to make those comments, let me know what you'd like to win. I don't want to be putting up prizes, oh, boring, oh, you've seen that, or oh, you don't, you know, they're, they're um, in everyday coin hunts. Oh, that's nice, Darwin. That is nice. That is a nice find. I like Darwin. It's a bit comical, really, I think, with the chimp looking at him. Almost sort of um, aping him as you do. <laughs> Sorry, I can't help laughing at my own jokes. <laughs> I promise you they don't get any better than that. <laughs> there we are. Can you see all those? Yeah. Last bag then. I'm happy with these two. I'm really happy with these two. I've got a lot of 1807 um, abolition of the slave trade. 
and I've got some um, Sherlock bones but um, I'm keeping these ones that I've got here okay so it just leaves me to say heartfelt thank you um, I've been blessed with all the followers and the um, coin tubers who've supported me I can't believe what a fantastic community they are I think it must be the best community on YouTube what do you think you join in you'll soon find out it's fantastic lovely bunch of people oh, that feels a bit ticker look at that that feels that's what I said to you about um uh, feeling something different and that was second to last coin so I'll get rid of that one because uh, it's just a technology on the side and I want to know why one of these is a bit thicker and I'm just going to read read the edge inscription get rid of those as well and then do a little bit of twiddling and turning so it's normally around like that mm, out a little bit maybe but not much okay and that's the lighter one that's the thicker one. Standing on the shoulders of giants, standing on the shoulders of giants. It just feels thicker. Sorry, I'm away from the camera. I've just got enthralled then. Look at the outside of that one. So it's still got the pattern. It just, I don't know, something going on. I'm not quite sure what it is. It doesn't look, it feels a lot heavier than that one. Maybe it's that one, that's the light one. Is it magnetic? No, none of them are magnetic. Any of the others? No? Anything over there? Oh yeah, they are, look. So the magnet works, just so you know. But these 50p's aren't magnetic. And neither are the two pounds. And then... No, so it's just, you know. It just still feels thicker, but there we are. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Right, so we've got down to uh, these four coins in our hunt. And that's out of £300, £200 of £2 coins and £100 of 50 pence pieces. Oh, I did also get the Peace, Prosperity and uh, Friendship to All Nations. Put that one down there. Uh, but I put that one back because there's so many of them. I've, I've seen and got um, a few of those. Um, and then you're going to tell me, I wished I'd had much more of a selection to say, now look, which one, which do you like, which, what would you like in a in a free draw so if you'd like to um, put whatever it is you fancy in the 50p uh, video and then comment in this video and tell me what you'd like to win the first 100 people that have subscribed will be uh, eligible but don't worry anybody who uh, signs up and subscribes after the 100 you'll be eligible for the next draw I can't tell you when that is it, we just have to go with the flow <laughs> as it were um so um it's been fantastic it's been a real um uh, uh, well i've been in a haze in the last few days and the subscription's been going through the roof with all the lovely comments everybody's been making and the shout outs from the other coin tubers so a heartfelt thank you to all of you don't forget if you're new to watching or you want to do this yourself just join in make comments get a conversation going with other people make friends with other people through the comments section and um, you know you will soon get used to uh, what goes on and you'll be able to join in N you know there's no restrictions on how many videos you make how you make your videos who you make them with um, I mean I'm here with you there's just me and you <laughs> okay leave it Right, there we are. Lovely to see you. Until the next time, look after yourselves and be good. Bye-bye.